Hi BTN, I'm Hamish from Mortley Public School. My question for you today is, how do creatures evolve over time? Thank you, bye! <clears throat> so you're here to report a bunch of missing elephant tusks? Am I reading that right? That's correct, yes. See, I'm a documentary maker and I've been filming elephants in Mozambique for many years and I started to notice their tusks disappearing. This is not good for my documentary, Elephants with Tusks. I had to draw those on. Right. Here's the thing. I think the elephants are in on it. Like they got rid of their own tusks. Like they evolved to stop having them? I was gonna say magic? Like they're magic elephants? But evolution? Tell me more about this evolution thing. Why don't you talk to a scientist? Tell me more about this evolution thing. Well, evolution is the theory that all living things change over time. Ah, even elephants. No, oh, I don't know, Leela. Just ask a real scientist. Hi. You are dressed for the, uh, for the occasion. Celine is an evolutionary biologist, and she says evolution happens through a process called natural selection. Evolution by natural selection means that you're adapting to your environment, huh? and, and then when this environment changes, then you, you change accordingly. Take giraffes. Not every giraffe has the exact same length of neck. Some have longer necks, some have shorter necks. And see if suddenly, through, let's say, climate change, that trees lose their leaves below 20 meters of tree heights, then that would mean that only the giraffes whose neck would be long enough to reach above 20 meters would be able to feed themselves, would be able to survive and therefore breed. But how does this explain the tusks? Well, while selling elephant tusks is illegal, ivory is also worth a lot of money. So for a long time, the animals have been a target for poachers because their ivories turned into things like jewellery. Between 1977 and 1992, Mozambique was caught up in a civil war. During that time, up to 90% of Mozambique's elephant population was killed. Both male and female African elephants typically have tusks. They're basically overgrown teeth. But every so often, some females don't. Those weren't hunted, so they were able to have babies and pass on their tuskless genes. Now, they're a common sight. What's got people so shocked, though, is how quickly this evolution has happened. We are taught at school that evolution um, occurs through, you know, millions of years. But in recent years, the impact that humans have had on planet Earth is driving um, very rapid changes in the environment. A tusk-free life, even if it protects you from poachers, isn't necessarily a good thing. Tusks help elephants defend themselves, strip tree bark for food, and dig holes for water. But there's another problem. While we can see the tuskless gene is passed on in female elephants, there aren't any tuskless males. Which could mean eventually females far outnumber males, and that's not good for their long-term survival either. I think it's incredible that they've adapted and that they've managed to survive, but how many more of those can they take before it will lead to them going extinct? Will the elephants be okay? We need to leave them alone <laughs> and we need to protect them and they'll be okay. Turns out it was evolution in the end. Who keeps letting you in here? I came through the window. 